G'day fellas and welcome to another FFA Nomad game. Today we're on the Juicy Legacy and I want to try a different late game composition, something that I haven't tried before. I'm talking about the Imperial Guard. Now, there's a special unit that you've got access to in the Imperial Age as the Juicy Legacy. In fact, two unique cavalry units that no one else gets access to. We're going to look to try and take those. Have a look at this though. We got ourselves a little bit of a conundrum over here. King getting caught in the middle. Let's move over towards the east side. Oh, we got a beautiful spawn. We're going down right over here. Now, keep in mind, we are playing the Juicy Legacy, and that means that we need to leave space here for our production, well, not our production, our economic buildings. But we have spotted out a couple of villages over here. I've seen red already. Uh, so hopefully he's moved this villager away. Uh, but we can see, there he is. Red leave. I'm going to tell him right now, red leave. Go, go for the king, bro. Go, go for it. I, re I really don't mind. We've got purple up here to the north as well. We have got ourselves a, a tough little start here. Now, every second that Red Sin sits here spending his time doing this, this is good for us. It means he's investing resources, time, in doing something that he shouldn't really be doing. We've got ourselves a nice little deer here. Actually, I just realized we want this over near the... We want this near the mill. If, if you're really going to the back there, Red, you are in a... Sad. You're going to be in a sad little spot, my friend. I'm kind of tempted. Maybe we go over and, and throw a tower down on him. I got a feeling that he might actually be doing that. I mean, I don't want to be sitting in the middle here. Okay, he's pulling back. He's changing his direction. We're going to keep on watching, keep on waiting. Actually, we've got a crazy good start here. Like the gold, the berries, the deer. Stone's pretty close by. Woodline's not too bad either. But... He's heading up towards purple. I've got a feeling that it's going to be a very short game for Red. Something tells me that. Poor Z1, R1, X1. Looks like we've got a couple more units out over here. Let's pop inside the town center if we need to. Doesn't look like we will. And we're going to do this one very, very quickly. Red is moving his villagers up. So I think we managed to secure that. Oh, oh I just realized we didn't even put anything in the town center queue. A little, little bit slow there, Drongo. A little bit slow. Don't worry. It's a bit late right now. What, what's the time for me? I think about 1 a.m. in the morning. So it, it's, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit early for me here. Anyway, we're going to go scout out with our king. We'll go scout out around the back here. We should be pretty safe with the king. Um, so that's what we're going to look to do. We'll try and go towards the middle as well. There's no Order of the Dragon or Holy Roman Empire players here. But Red's going to just come walking in. Red, are you? He's just going to sack himself. All right, we'll, we'll take that kill. Poor Red, dude. Poor Red. And Red has indeed left the building. All right, well, there you go. We pick up an early kill. That's all we really need right there. Uh, we'll check behind us, make sure that there's nobody else behind here. Uh, we could look to try and just keep Purple at an arm's length, which is what I'm going to be doing here, just convincing Purple he doesn't really want to fight us. So that's going to be pretty important for me to do. So we'll have to think about doing... Or how we're gonna how we're gonna deal with purple? Let's keep moving towards the middle here. That's way too many bills already. On, let's do that one, and let's have a look at our king. King's going well. So I, I was right in that I thought it would be a short game for that player, uh, and I was 100% correct. It looks like three sacred sites, so no real chance of sacred victory here in in the early stages of the game. Of course, oh, maybe I, I will take that back. These are pretty close together. That's two sacred sites. I didn't get a whole lot of sheep yet, though. We'll keep on looking. So we're doing a good job scouting at the back here as well. There we go. There's another sheep. So that's two sacred sites. They're right next to each other. We do have a neutral trading post as well, which is nice. Because I played a game earlier and I didn't have a neutral trading post. And that felt terrible. It's interesting that Red actually decided to give his king to me. I wonder what that decision-making process was. Perhaps that he just didn't want to play anymore and just didn't want to leave. So he was just like, I'll just, I'll just give my king to somebody. Thanks. Thanks. I'll, I'll, hey, I'll, I'll take a free king this early. It's interesting how you can kind of call it as well. Like I said, you know, you got to leave, leave this area. We don't want it too crowded. But uh, yeah, we haven't seen anybody else yet. We've got purple to the north. He's got a gold. We can go scout him out because if he's got neighbors nearby, he might not even be thinking about us. So that's something for us to consider as well. All right, we've picked up plenty of... Oh, I say plenty of sheep. We've picked up four sheep so far. Definitely not the best. Maybe we should go check towards our south. Where are we putting our meditation gardens down? Do we go for somewhere in the middle? I mean, we could do something really silly like that. 
Oh my god. What's going on over here? I think we just go and like... We got, we got some crazy starts happening right here. Alright, so we're just going to go for a standard Song Dynasty open. Meditation Gardens. Um, I guess we'll just go here. That's actually not terrible. That's pretty decent. I'm happy with that. Alright, so we're going for the Song Dynasty. Let's push these deer in a little bit. I think that's probably enough. And we can drop off our sheep now. Let's take a look at our king. Now, we know that there are sheep behind us, but we're not too interested in that. The things that we're interested in most at the moment is just finding out what's happening down below us. We want to go check in with Purple, see how he's doing as well. He did have three vills on stone, and this is quite early to have that many on stone, but maybe he's going for, like, the Fei chan strategy, something that she loves to do is go for all those early vills on... Uh, going for all the early vills onto stone, which is playing as the Byzantines. What we just saw looked like orange. It is indeed. Look at that. So we got to be careful of a Barbican from this angle. Um, we can drop these guys off. Let's go over and I think we're just going to do something like that. Oh, that is a nice haul of sheep right there. Looks like we've got deer over on that position as well. All right. So we've started trickling in. All the good stuff. We've got another deer pack at the back here. So I'm kind of worried a little bit about the Chinese. He might look to Barbican us. Um, so I'm just going to keep our sheep over here near the town center. Just because if that does happen, like, we're going to need to keep an eye out here. We're kind of downhill as well. So that's another thing to consider. And I think he might have come through the back here. There were a couple of sheep. So that's something for us to look out for. And let's now look to move in onto stone. Actually, do we want to do stone just yet? Maybe we just want to do a house. Now we can do stone. So, normally I'd like to do like a 3 TC opening here. Oh my god, I just realized how ludicrous our... Um... Oh, we're doing landmark, aren't we? Uh, so, we can probably go for like a landmark around here-ish. Uh, so... Let's supervise our camp. We ideally want two Imperial officials out right now. We can afford it. I might idle just for a little bit here. Just to get the Imperial official out. Because we want to go into more TCs. Um, my main concern right now is not actually this guy who's quite close to me. And sounds like he's ringing his bell. He's got the king inside. My main concern is down here. Now, I don't know who his partners are. I don't know what he is up to. So that's going to be my main concern. But so far it seems pretty decent. We've got the Song Dynasty about to finish. So when it comes to second, third TCs, I think we'll go 2 TC. I really don't like this position on the Chinese player though. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. Maybe we'll sc scout out exactly what he's up to. Moose King's aged up here as well. Can't afford our TC just yet. We can probably just throw them down next to each other. Let's get a bit of an idea of where this player is up to. Uh, can we do our second TC now? There we go. So we want a few more vills than this. Do, do we not supervise? We did not supervise. Okay, he's now reached his age up. We've already got our second TC down. So we're pretty far ahead when it comes to this. I'm just going to throw my ship on this side now. So I'm expecting to see the Imperial Academy. We're going to go scout out and see whether that is the case or not. There's the Imperial Academy. So he still has the Barbican in his back pocket. So we need to be very aware of that. These four were going to gold. That is the wrong way to go, guys. Okay, he's finished his Barbican. Wonderful. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's, he's building it, though. Just the one vill. But that, that's a good thing. Uh, we can hand in now. Are you guys ready to build a town center already? R2. Alright, so now we just go straight to Castle Age, I'm feeling. Let's get these Imperial officials in. And we can look to supervise this up. So, this is a decent little spot. The fact that he's going into Barbican, but he's not actually... Um, 
far out, dude. We we just saw you, and you were full health. Or no, uh, rather, you had no uh, no nothing on you. What's? Can we? I want the villas to go right there. I want you to gather. We're probably a little bit too close to this gold, if I'm honest. Seven on gold. I think that should be fine here. Let's pull a few off, though. We don't need supervisors on here. We just mainly want food. That's why I'm kind of a little bit upset that we didn't get that all those sheep, dude. That, that was a crazy amount of sheep. So we must have just missed some, something. But we've still got plenty of food back here. My main concern is that we might have to farm transition pretty early. Uh, I think I might look to get walls up on this top side as well, just to make sure that we've got this little part back here safe. I want to. I think I want to do my farm transition up here. So I just want to look to try and keep that safe. Probably get a couple more vills over here. And we're just going to keep on spamming. Now we also want to get our eco upgrades, so let's go ahead and do that. So we've got our Imperial officials working. We could probably even look to supervise some of this, but... I wonder where all those sheep were, because we saw him, like, right here. Unless he was doing a second scout somewhere. Now, we need to go scout our Byzantine player. He could be doing javelins, but I think the safest bet is just going to be for us to go straight into um, palace guards, which is, I know, it's always the thing. It's like, oh, Drongo going palace guards again. Yeah, well, my, my, oh, this wasn't in my control group. Oh, Lord. We've, we're so far behind on you. We're, we're like, like, what, six, eight vils behind now because of that? That's a lot of vills that we're behind. That's all right. That's all right. We'll fix it up. Let's go supervise out here. Cross has been eliminated. That's going to be Teal, also in age one. So I guess he was just AFK, maybe. Is that what where that was going? Um, I'm going to put this down right here next to the TC. I've got a fair bit of resources in the bank at the moment. So we, we do want to make it to the late game. That's the other thing to note. So already two people are out. So if I took out both of these guys, four people, that would leave me and then three other people, which to be honest, isn't the best. Let's go down here now. That's Castle Age already for Moose King. That's my... Okay, that's one kill pink. Uh, let's get more vills over here. Actually... Because we're going to need to kill Moose Pink. I don't think we can just leave him chilling here, right? Uh, when it comes to relics, I see two relics. That's probably enough to justify going for the Shaolin Monastery. I think we can do that here. We've got plenty of food in the bank. Main thing is going to be gold here, so we just want to look to get our upgrades in. So let's get everybody on the move. We've got... Let's get two more Imperial officials. And now let's focus on getting our Raxes up. Now he's Castle Age, so maybe going into Archery Rangers is probably a good idea as well. But we'll open it up with the standard. Let's get double Broad Axe. Let's supervise over here. Castle Age is now coming through for everybody. And we're going to hit this relic first. And we're going to go grab this one over here. We don't have a lot of bills on food. Oh my god, we got so many on gold right now. So let's go down here. And let's go supervise that as well. Because we're going to transfer a few bills out there. That's our first relic pickup. We've got the second one back here. And we can even think about throwing in some farms back here. So let's go with that right there. Relic's gone. It's been taken. Oh, we can just beat him, dude. I mean, it is... We're going to be starting a fight here. I don't know if we really want to be doing that, but... We should be able to beat him, right? We are chasing this guy, and it is not particularly fast. What if I get in front of him and then block? Yeah, you got an animation cancel. Look at that. Okay, 
Okay. Has the Chinese player aged up yet? He has. Let's go build a second Monk. Bring it back here. We've got some spears coming out as well. So let's make sure we bring everybody in. We need to get more. I think we can probably add in now. Alright, decent numbers now starting to build here. We've got Orange, he's kind of doing a little bit of a scout out. I think it might be a good idea just to get a bit of vision here. Oi, oi, oi. You meant to drop that bad boy off. Sacred Sight being... Oh, he's going for the relic. I didn't even realize there was a relic here. Do we just go intercept that? I didn't even see that. That's the problem when you... Now, was that an outpost? That was an outpost, so he will see us. So I think we can probably just go on that trajectory right there. And now we can go pick up that relic here. Is it orange? I thought I saw orange on the list there as well. Need a little bit more production. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. Dive, boys, dive. We're getting, we're stealing all the relics. Did we, did we not get this one? Oh, we didn't get this one. Oh no, we did get, get this one. So that takes us up to three relics now. We also want to think about a Rax here. Uh, not a Rax, a, um, an archery range. A, a blacksmith. Too many bills on... Something like this. Okay, so we've got decent vision here. I feel like we've just kind of walked over the purple player. And I don't know really what he's got going on. Let's get an outpost up along this wall. Speaking of walls... We're just going to do it for the memes. I get on placement. So we are caught in a bit of an awkward spot here. Where do we go for gold after this? We probably want to go to the middle. That, that doesn't line up, does it? That'll do. That's Imperial Age now reached. Let's find out where kings are. We, we haven't actually done that yet. Hmm. I don't know if that's enough production. I feel like it probably is. We gotta keep an eye on this guy. Do we just go down here and take this? I think he's down here. I just realized, do we not have our T2 upgrades yet? We have that one, we don't have this one. Alright, he's got a decent army here. Oh, 
Lens connect? Shit, lens connect? I mean, he does have... All right, I'm feeling this one. We're looking good. We do die right now to some sort of strike on our king. Is king inside? King is inside. Gotta be careful with the battering rams. Keeping an eye on this guy. Let's get palace guards at the back, just in case he gets an idea. Okay, he's just eliminated, or he's just given up. So let's go cover our bases immediately. We can start thinking about Imperial. We're up to 300 population space right now. Another thing to consider. King probably back here. Okay, so how many people are alive in this game right now? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so obviously orange is up next. Imperial Age is on the way shortly. Okay, so we're just going to put our keep down here. And we're going to stonewall it in. Like that. And we'll put a gate in as well. King, let's move you across now. So we've got a pretty decent economy here. Next thing we're going to need to fight for, though, is going to be gold. It's going to be really important for us. And I'm almost tempted right now. I mean, this guy's got a big gold, but uh, it's kind of useless. Let's take this gold here. We'll get spring on emplacements here. We'll fortify. You know what? We don't want to waste our stuff on that. Let's go into the middle. So we now want to start switching to stables because we're about to go Imperial Age. So with our Imperial Age, we're going to be looking to go into Juicy's library. So let's put that down. These guys are then going to build a stone wall around Juicy's library as well. Big battle going on over here. Get sniped out there. Let's get these battering rams just chilling for now. So now we can move into Cav. Pure Age is going to be slow to come through. We could supervise this as well. Probably get some really decent value on this, just considering how many vills we've got here. We've got 30 vills. We're going to keep pumping vills. Did we not... I thought, didn't we get a kill? What does it say? Didn't we get a kill on red at the beginning of the game? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Strongo. To all those people who are watching me right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, don't worry. I might look like a, a silly billy, but I assure you I am. Got ourselves some horsemen numbers starting to build here. That's elite palace guards. 
大概听好，我会奉命去做。我该往哪里做？需要集中注意力，您的意愿就是我的指令。So he wants to secure that gold. 听好了，士兵们，这个可走。听好了，士兵们，我要发牢骚，只要走就是了。That that's kind of lucky. Um, where's the star now? Big stone on the back here. Can we get those Imperial Guard yet? Did I not get Dynastic Protectors? Oh my god, it takes so long. Let's go to university as well. Let's get ourselves a market. Uh, and we had our military all over here. Where I really need stone walls to start coming up. He's just left me alone. I feel like I've got too many angles going on right now. There's another big gold in the back of his base. Let's go check that. That could be legit. King is safe. I want everybody here except the Imperial Guard. We did lose an Imperial official in that battle. Let's see if we can get you back out here. That was someone just throwing down a keep right there. Did you see that? See how the ground changed? That's what that is. So let's move these guys out here. Look at the bills. And let's just start attacking. That's the bees over here. Definitely need more stone right now. This is fine. Absolutely fine with losing all this. Did he have relics? He did have relics. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> How did I see that at the exact time that it happened? That's kind of wild. So we want to get a couple more bombards here. Our economy's pretty big here. I also want to get... Maybe let's transfer a couple of bills here. Off food. Still got this central location. I think we could probably go finish him off. Let's find out where that king is. The thing is... I really need to secure myself before I do this. I've got three people that are all pretty evenly positioned. Um, and let's think about dynasties. Uh, Montlu. Throw that down. And then let's throw down Temple of the Sun. I gotta make sure this one comes up first.
And we want to go into cab damage for the moment. And we're in Ming Dynasty as well, so we're getting double damage here. We're getting 20% and 15%, which means we're doing a lot of damage. This isn't even my final form. That's a big gold. Alright, so we want to keep these coming. The problem is, as soon as I take the kill on this guy, I become a huge threat to everybody. So if we can just get him to surrender... It's not gonna happen though. Well, a lot of people just went down at the same time. Oh, did he just surrender? That was just him surrendering. He did have a keep over here as well. I didn't get that off in time. How long have you guys just been chilling? Let's grab ourselves another Imperial Official over here. And we can get the next Imperial Official upgrade. So, this is an absolutely wild lag game combo. Like, when you think about it, it, it's absolutely crazy how cracked this combo is. Uh, so... Let's put gates on here, build a gate, and we want to start just putting outposts around here. So these two, we know, we know that they're fighting each other, right? Let's go double check with our king. Oh, pink got eliminated. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Daimyo men are down here. And this guy's Mongols. Okay, so I need to get more walls up, especially I want to get walls around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down all my houses over here. Put a lumber camp in. Let's stop you guys from gathering. How many bills are we on? We're on 176. I think that's more than enough. So we do need to be really just careful right now about the prospect of someone trying to snipe us. That's my biggest fear. My greatest fear. We got a lot of good resources though. Now, if I'm going for a stone wall here, where am I going to cut it? Because I need to cut it. I think I cut it along this line here. I think we'll probably just get rid of these. Just something like this. Get rid of the mining camp. I can get rid of these. Get rid of this one. And there we go. Okay, so we're safe for the moment. Let's get more vills out onto the map, actually. We want to start throwing down outposts in all directions. Just like this, just to get an idea of what's, on, what's going on out there. And let's continue our Bombard spam. Here's Blue. Throwing a scout out. We just want to stay back. So he's scouting me. Yellow's down here. He's playing Japanese. He's also got quite a mobile army, actually. So I think maybe we just chill. What if we just, like, double... Try and double wall here against the Japanese. Like that. Okay, 
We don't have a whole lot of resources. Here's Blue again coming in for a little bit of a scout. Maybe we go down here and eat some of these wood lines that aren't ours. I also want to get more siege workshops out. Let's do that now. That's so annoying when that happens. I don't know why that bug happens. So he is up here. Actually, we should think about throwing down a keep. This is this is only 3k and we can just run back. I don't know how many kills he's got. That's the other thing to remember. I haven't really been keeping track. I feel like our army's insane though. We've still got a little bit. University, siege works, or oh, court architects. 100%. We gotta get this upgrade. He's out here. If I do this, I'm probably gonna be making an enemy though. Let's just leave it. Maybe we look to try and take out Blue because he's the furthest away from us, and then we can just kind of focus in, zone in. Let's do it. Oh god, he does some damage, doesn't he? What are you. Oh, 32 damage. It's like two shutting my bills out here. Okay, big boy. Maybe we just send a couple over here. Whoa! Alexandros has just been eliminated. Okay. I guess that... No skill noob yellow. Bad game. Wow. Calling him out with the shots already. I guess that gives us... A plan. I'm going to throw down a couple of keeps in the middle here just in case he gets any ideas. Now we've already got a keep back here so I'm going to get my first upgrade on that. That's actually a pretty smart move there. From the Japanese player. I'm curious exactly what he's rocking, though. Let's do another king check. King, down here. Just chilling out. Let's get you guys on the internal. Because that should all be locked off. Wait, is that really the only way you guys can go? Oh, we got ourselves. Let's do a quick check. Have we got units in here that we don't want? Horsemen, get out of here. I'm still making them, aren't I? I can, I can hear it. Alright, so we could just take this. I think we've got every single upgrade. Now, I need to reinforce this a little bit more easily. So, let's go and put this down here. Let's build that right now. We don't, we don't want him to be able to see us. That's another thing. Where, where is his army? I'm kind of waiting for him, but I'm also a little bit scared. Maybe I just send out a couple of feelers. Okay, there we go. Wait, what is he up to? It's so strange. Okay, there we go. A couple of scouts coming out here. Let's shut him down. Alright, we've got the AoE upgrade. Now let's just think, what do we want? We probably want it on range for this fight instead of DPS. 
I tell you what, this is looking like it might be the perfect Juicy Legacy game. Let's focus on the castle. The castle's got nine range. Dude, look how far we can fire. We're like trebuchets from up here. Is he trading or something? Did he just leave after his opponent called him no no skilled? What did he call him? He oh, oh, there we go. Maybe we do go with, uh, let's go with damage. Just until we know what we're up against. If he's got like a thousand. What does he got? Shinto priests. I mean, we can just kind of charge this, right? We've got the AoE. Oh, we've got the AoE. And we got the big charge. Imperial Guard coming through right now. Where is his... Where are his units? We're maxed. We're 200... 350 pop. Reinforcements continuing to come through. A couple make it through to, through to the back. Get immediately shut down. Dude, look at it. This... This late game army is actually insane. This is better than Grenadiers. This is better than Palace Guards. This... This is why Juicy Legacy is the best late game Civ. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. This combo is absolute insanity. Like, you... you Look at the stats on these units. Bombards with AoE with 11 range, if I want. I can switch it over. I might switch it over. It's it's insanity. Look look at the AoE. It's, it's like great bombards, but just 10 times better. And the best thing is, I just attack move down here, and they will just do it all themselves. I don't, e I don't even have to drive. They get up. They sit down. Now let's have a look at the stats on this unit here. The Imperial Guard. Never mind. Not even going to get a chance. 43 damage. 408 health. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Coming through with... I I'm going to call it now. I think this is the best late game combo. The reason why I actually know about this combo is because someone said in the... I was watching a Twitch stream from Demu. And someone said in the Twitch stream, they're like, you've got to try this combo. It's insane in the late game. I didn't even think about this as a combo. So basically, you've got your, like your Bombard, which is your Archer. And then you've got your Imperial Guard, which is your Royal Knight. So it's basically like a French combination that you're running. The only problem with it is it's very gold heavy. So you need to be able to have map control. You can see 140 gold for each one of these bad boys. It is expensive on the gold. That is for sure. But uh, I mean, if you can secure map control the same way that we did here, uh, making sure that you've got access to gold, going after opponent's golds, making sure you leave these golds until last. Not necessarily till last, but you don't want to be taking them first. Uh, you want to try and take these golds in the center first is really, really important. Let's take a look at the eco count. So we were well and truly ahead. So we started off, we went for a big boom. It paid off. We did three TCs. It looks like there was only a couple of people on one TC for most of the game. And then two TCs came through for Blue, who I'm assuming, was he on the English? No, he was on the Mongols. Uh, and then was it pink that also saw? Yeah, so pink rose up a little bit here. Orange also on a second TC. Uh, and then on military count, we just kind of went up. And I don't think there was ever really a question. I was a bit worried about uh, orange, I think, here playing the Chinese. I was a little bit worried about him when he, I saw the Imperial Guard or Imperial Palace Guards coming out from him. Uh, a little bit concerned, but I knew that we had the Imperial Guard on the way and we had like 20 of them. And, and these things will, will beat Spearmen. That's what you got to remember. And once you get these fully upgraded... They, they're kind of wild. Dude, look at this. I didn't even realize this guy absolutely knew what was going on. I love this. He throws down the wall on the inside of the... On the outside of the TCs and the houses as well. Very, very nicely done. Uh, let's check out the bases of the... Uh, how did the Mongol player die, dude? Oh, 100% the Japanese player had to snipe him. There's no two ways about it. He probably just ran a whole bunch... See, and this is the tough thing about playing the Mongols. If you're going to play Mongols, what you want to do... So he's got 100% the right idea where his mistake is. So this is the main town center. What you want to be doing is you want to have your main town center in here as well, but you want to have a whole bunch of outposts around it and you want them to be immediately next to it. And one of the things that you can actually do, I'll, I'll just quickly demonstrate it right now because this is something I've actually been thinking about using if I'm going to play the Mongols in the late game. It's called... Um, so I... Oh gosh, a uh, little bit of lag right there. So if we go into the Mongols and just quickly... So I'm going to allow cheats. 
Jeez, every, everything's going on right now. Um, I'm going to allow cheats. So I think that should be fine. Uh, we've got Dominion. So I'm going to put a cheat on, which is going to allow me to train things really fast and build things really fast. Um, and what that is, what I will show you is essentially how I theorize you probably need to play the Mongols in the late game. Still not 100% sure. We've seen plenty of Mongol players do this, but because of the change to Pax Mongolica, I think you can probably play them a little bit more defensive now. Um, let's put in a Jiffy on. So we'll A jump and A up. And we'll throw down another landmark over here. Beautiful. Uh, that's just going to produce recent units, isn't it? Let's pack, let's pack you up because that's going to eat all my pop. Um, so I think what you want to do... So where's, where's our king? King? King's over here. So I think what you want to do is like you want to put... Uh, where's Pax Mongolica? I don't even know where it is. Is it in the blacksmith maybe? Maybe it's in the blacksmith. Maybe it's in the... The Gur? Gosh, there's so much to choose from here. I don't even know, dude. It's not the Gur. Oh, probably the Uvu then, right? It's got to be the Uvu. So, these have all got cannon emplacements on them, right? Because that's what you're using the White Stupor for. Because you're obviously going to go that. Um, so, within here, there's Pax Mongolica, which adds 300 health and 3 fire armor to all outposts. Gives them a new look, which is this one right here. So, essentially, you would just put lots and lots of outposts around your town center and you're almost baiting people to come in and and uh try and snipe your king you've only got 7,000 health but what you're going to do is you're just going to select your king like this just by pressing tab and then let's say if you've got units on the bottom side you would just tell your king out here and then immediately pop him into here and then from there you can then do the same thing here and then just pop him and basically you're just playing whack-a-mole whack with your king because everybody's got cannon emplacements and because everyone's got a cannon emplacement. Can you guys not attack ground? Oh, it's a rally point. Uh, because because everyone's got a uh, cannon emplacement, you're killing everything. Uh, and you just kind of want to keep your TC there. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's my theory. I think that if you just pop your king out, like you can pretty much get almost guaranteed to move into the immediately adjacent one straight away. Like, especially around the TC. So maybe that's the strat. Like, you just pop him out, and then you pop him back in, and then you pop him out over here, and then you pop him back in. Like, it's, it's going to require micro. It's going to require not 300 units uh, being on here. But on, uh, on top of that, another thing that you can do uh, is um, in, in these, in areas like this, uh, pathing is terrible. So if we were to get just just a few cavalry units just to, jam to demonstrate it. So let's go with, like, a whole bunch of horsemen. Okay, we'll give him some upgrades as well. Get out of here. So we've now got elite horsemen. And the elite horsemen want to siege this down, right? So you can right-click this and that gives them very good pathing. But if you don't do that, what they're going to have to do is, is they will get stuck. So if you've got any kind of unit in here, spearmen, sheep, battering rams, and they're not going to path effectively through here. This is actually very good pathing, but you can see even here, they're all kind of funneling in along this one line. There's a couple of stragglers that go in and around, and now they've finally worked it out when the other side has gotten through. But it's it's very easy to block, and that's essentially what you want to do. So I think that was probably the biggest thing that Blue didn't do in that game. Um, he, he just he didn't really have preparation for the snipe, which is understandable, but I, I would say it's like the equivalent of um, of like a standard civilization building a keep and walling it. I think that would be... Yeah, probably the best thing. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Pretty decent game. Happy with how it went. Um, that is an insane late game combo. We're going to be using that a lot more. I I don't know between the Chinese and the Juicy Legacy which one it is. I feel like if you're going to, if you're going to play late game, it's going to be the Juicy. If you're not sure about how your start's going to be, you probably want to play the Chinese. But I guess it's FFA, Mega Random. It's always going to be unsure, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. See you guys in the next one.